Hello, Fight fans. I'm Todd Grisham. Welcome to the WBC Arena. And watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. It's time for our tale of the tape. Sugar Ray Leonard always. Sugar Ray Leonard. Terrence Bud Crawford, the undisputed. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of... One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. This is going to be that fight. This is what people are going to be talking about forever and a day. Thousands of fans here in attendance tonight, but when the bell rings, there will only be two that we're talking about. And there's the bell to start the round. Caught clean by a left hook. He got caught clean by a left hook. What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Every seat has been taken for tonight's match. It's so hot. So here, there's a roof on here, you don't understand it. When you're working, when the noise is there, the pressure's on, you're thirsty, you're sweating, and you're getting under. You're on the wrong side of a beating. Crawford in trouble. And they're down. It looks like this one's going to be over. Always oh, down. Is he going to raise like the Undertaker? pick things up here in the second half of the round. They're back on their feet, but how long will they stay there? But now it's about getting back to the corner, freshening. An upset of the year, perhaps, right before our eyes. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. He couldn't seize the moment. What recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely gone. I thought there's no way he's going to finish this round. But look at that. Look at the movement. Look at the speed back on it. Like it never happened. Punch. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. Let's talk about Leonard in that last round. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be, considering that round will be 10 8 after the knockdown. Ring the bell, and here we go. His eyes look pretty clear here, Johnny. How do you think he's going to do after being knocked down in the last round? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast the round. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Well done with that counter shot. Oh, that punch. He threw the hook, didn't land. We've seen this fighter in the past go 12 rounds and not have a mark on their face. That's what happens when you stick and move, you hit, and you don't get hit. This is what makes outside fighters so good. Their footwork is second to none. It's as fast as their hands. Halfway through the round, and it's pretty much even Steven. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. He threw the hook, didn't land. What's the referee thinking right now? Bambi legs are kicking in. Look at those legs. The legs are...
Talk about Leonard in that last round. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything, full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. When you're fighting a counterpuncher, you want to bait them in to throw first. Make them think you're going to throw a punch so that they exchange. They have got great ring IQ. Counterpunchers are the best. counter shot gotta let your hands go a little bit it's okay to be aggressive now he needs to put some combination work together one punch is good two punches better these fighters landing in these exchanges judge is gonna have a tough job skill for skill tap for tap she's like a match made in heaven nice counter Quickly as it slows down, it heats back up. They're in trouble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Final 10 seconds here, and the corner is going to have their work cut out for them. Let's talk about Leonard in that last round. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. I love the response, though. Got back up, took a deep breath, and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. for an all-action slugfest. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. What a nightmare scenario. This was an unexpected turn of events. What happens next? Somebody can smell blood here. They can smell blood. They've got to be smart. Get in there. Then, boom, back in the same spot again. If it happened once, you got away with it. You can do it again. It's a good start to the round for this guy. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. No doubt at all. You can see who's winning. You can see who's got it in hand. You can see who's comfortable. Or is it a bit of a mouse trap? Well, just a couple rounds left, Johnny. What's your assessment so far? Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say. The building is going bananas. Will they see a huge upset here? Does he know he's hurt him? Look at him. about Leonard in that last round. Let's see how the corner handles their fighter here after being dropped twice in that last round. And there's the bell to start the round. Is this the beginning of the end after two knockdowns last round? I have no idea what they have left. What, how, how'd you come back from something like that? 
Not on twice. Uh, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. They exchange punches. They're giving us a high tempo show. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. He scores with the counter. Stumbling around on Bambi left. Legs have gone. Gotta get our hands up. It's survival instincts now. Get him up. through the round and I think we all know who's winning here. Well they're back up on their feet but I'm not sure why. So then look at his corner, look at his structure, they're telling him to calm down, make the most of the count, get up, breathe and move, get behind the referee, save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner, somehow get to the end of the round. Oh he's up, I, I, I'd be surprised if he makes it back to the corner and if he does, will he get back up from the stool again? That was a shot. with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Leonard in that last round. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is going to be. They ring the bell and here we go. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff there. Well, with welterweights, they sometimes bring you the best of both worlds. Fast hands and power. Oh my goodness, what pace! What pace! They're like, do you know what a Yorkshire Terrier is, Todd? That's they're like little Yorkshire Terriers. him clean. They better start respecting each other's punching power. Swing and a miss with that hook. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. Two fighters are made for one another. This may do it. Oh, what a shot. down but didn't stay down once again showing you how much grit and courage this fighter has he's up but, but for how long look at her on the heels it look it looks like he's going to survive the round here but just barely Good counter punch let's talk about leonard in that last round so it's plan b time after being knocked down we're hoping for an all-action slugfest. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go, because you know they're on shaky leg. They're a, a Nazi away from getting stopped. Well, Johnny, we're a couple rounds in. What are you seeing so far? I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Blam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. Nice counter shot. Not a lot 
a punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? You'd like to see more jabs. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Can't find a home with that jab. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's so hard to actually outbox the fight and beat them on points. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. about Leonard in that last round. The game plan does not seem to be working. And there's the bell to start the round. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. That hook won't score. Nice counter shot. Swinging big and missing big with that hook. Nice counter shot. Big shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. That uppercut misses. Swing and a miss with that hook. round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go let's talk about Leonard in that last round you know that bell was sweet music to it they ring the bell and here we go oh they got battered last round how do they turn their fortunes around this is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Well, you know, in this division, we're going to see a lot of combinations, a lot of counter punching. This is why I love the little guys. This is exactly why I love them. Look at them, toe to toe, half a heart. You know, mano on mano, they're letting the shots go. Just misses with that uppercut. One punch could change anything when these two step in the ring. We're at the halfway point, and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Here we go with the lightweights. Get ready to see some blazing hand speed and fancy footwork. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Now 
Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Very close round with 10 seconds to go. about Leonard in that last round. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace. And there's the bell to start the round. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. I'm trying to relax a little bit now. Fight a little differently. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Can't land that jab. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? So one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Which fighter will say no moss? Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges' scorecards. Both men step back for just a moment, and he scores with the counter. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Leonard in that last round. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say they ring the bell, and here we go. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. Well, you know in this division, you've got to have... the corner has thrown in the towel and that will do it the fighter not happy but those are the rules so time to go celebrate after another knockout win here oh.